All right, welcome to the Straight Red Card. Um, today we're going to take on some of your your questions, your issues. Um, why we have to deal with your issues? I don't know. I mean, you send us questions, we answer them. I'm not, and, uh, this. I'm not, I'm not a therapist. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to feel like therapists I'm, after, I'm, after some of these questions, I'm Brett. Fi- we're 50 subs away from me being a therapist, people. <laughs> Make At sure least. you like, uh, subscribe, and comment to our videos. I haven't said that for two shows. Seriously, I know. I just thought about that as I said that. <laughs> I mean, all the work I have done, as we have led up to this saying, like, subscribe, I have ruined over the last two shows. Thank you, Brett, for stepping in. and sure for you an lightly, lightly tap that like button. You know? Lightly tap it. Brush it. Brush it, if you will. Squeeze. <laughs> Don't need to slam it. Don't need to smash it. All right, uh, so here are the four questions we got. Uh, I'll start with the first question from Sven, Sven Ter, Svenk. Uh, the, his middle name's a K, Svenker. Uh, Svenker says what? Okay, I get the joke. All right, so <laughs> what do you think, guys think about USA being ranked number 10 in the world, people world rankings? God, I can't I, read. I addressed this on Twitter already. You did? Any anybody who wants to know my thoughts, go to the Strayer card on Twitter on Twitter and you can see what I think. Because you're not gonna tell us anything. No, right I'm now. totally gonna tell you right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I, I'm to, I'm totes getting two thousand six vibes here. And no uh, kidding. I, I, I mentioned this uh because we uh a lot lawless uh had a great tweet in all honesty. You know, I'll give him props when he says it, but somebody's like in tw- the last 20 years, no no U.S. team would ever have cracked the top 10. And he's like, dude, 15 years ago, we were like ranked six. <laughs> <laughs> so so my, my point was, you know, the 2006 vibes again. And like I mentioned uh, on, a, on, a, on a reply to that comment, I call it the Reese Bobby syn- uh, syndrome or the Reese Bobby effect. I don't know if you've ever watched Talladega Nights yet. I have. And, you know, <laughs> Still don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So Reese Bobby, he he has he has a thing where like you know things are going. Reese Bobby's uh, the father of uh, of oh yeah Bobby. Yeah, if if things are going too good, he kind of gets a little itchy and a little twitchy because you know you know. So he wants to get thrown out of like an Applebee's type of thing, you know. Oh, I I start getting I start getting these a little twitchy whenever I start seeing good things happen to the United States. All of a sudden, we're in top ten. Oh my God, what's going to happen? We're gonna we're not going to qualify. We're going to do you know. So, exactly. I, I don't think that's going to happen first off. This is kind of a joke, but I'm getting those effects, those feelings. I, I honestly think that there could be, uh, I mean, we've definitely benefited from this summer's games. And I wouldn't necessarily say maybe, and there may be going on a limb here, unpopular opinion, but we may not necessarily be top 10. Uh, I don't think so. I think we're <laughs> more in like the 15 range. But I will say, since 2006, they have fixed the uh, mathematics that they used to come about with these numbers. And they thought and we'd yes, never folks, get back it, up there. <laughs> it, it, yes, it is mathematics. It's not like 80 monks in Belgium deciding who the best team is by vote. No, that's blind not how this monks, works. Blind monks pulling you know, names out of a hat. Or drinking a lot of great Belgian beer. I'm, what I'm saying is this is a mathematical thing and they fixed it after 2006 when we got to number six in the world. They're like, something must be wrong. With, with, with <laughs> Wait, United States at number six? I don't think so. Yeah, exactly. So they fixed the math and now we're still at 10 and I still think that's a little high. They're, but They're, they're going to fix the math again, apparently. They might, but we keep winning. <laughs> There's nothing they can really do about us keeping winning. So there you go. Our answer is I'm fine with being number 10, although I do not think we're better than Switzerland, Uruguay, Holland, Denmark, or Germany right now. Although we're close to all of them. We had a pretty good game against Switzerland when we played in the we friendly. It was, a, it was a friendly. We lost. Yeah, what, 1-0? We had, yes. our chan- we had our chances. I thought it was a pretty, I mean, relatively even game. Those are all, all I'm saying is all of those are very, like, they're competitive matches. Yes. But there's a good chance we could lose. To all those people who are sure, now behind why us. Why not? Why not? The Dutch, Dude, the Danish, the Uruguayans. We can lose Swiss, El Salvador tomorrow. And the Deutsch. possible. 
<laughs> no, we're not losing El Salvador. I don't think we're going to lose El Salvador. It doesn't but my, matter. My, my point how, being is, there's plenty. Of, there's plenty of teams that we could, in theory, lose to. I think we have enough talent to say yes, we're better than X team here. I think you, what you said earlier, top fifteen, sure. Yeah, I think that's more realistic sure. if we want to keep things in perspective. But look at us being humble. I know, I know, it's crazy. <laughs> ah, speaking of humble, let's move on to the next question which was about Alexi Lawless. Somebody mm-hmm. wrote and said, on Lawless' podcast, he recently said the following, Hoppy wouldn't do well in MLS, and Roldan is going to be a very important part of qualifying. Paraphrasing, um, that is from Fal Is. <laughs> okay, thank you, Fallis. He says, your thoughts. I want well, the audio clip. That's what I want. I, I- I know it's almost hard to believe you said it. <laughs> Poppy wouldn't be good in MLS. No, I, I don't. I, I, I suspect that he may have said something about rolled on being a key for qualifying. Sure, why not? Uh, I suspect that that's right up with Lawless's wheelhouse. But saying that Hoppy wouldn't do well in MLS, I, I, I can't. I feel like that's a bad paraphrase. If that's a paraphrase, that's got to be paraphrased. How would you think that Hoppy wouldn't do good in MLS? I'm just trying to figure out the logic well, that. Maybe, Alexi maybe, maybe you said if come Hoppy to played, maybe you said if Hoppy played for Chicago, he <laughs> wouldn't do well because nobody does well in Chicago. Well, okay, here's the honest truth. I don't watch Alexi's goddamn two hour long podcast. Okay. I don't. I'll watch like the five minute clips or Sorry, eight minute Wallace. clips. I can't do it, dude. It's just so much fucking boring. Like uh, it's just boring and i don't the guy he has on his show i like that guy he's really informed he has a lot of information i don't remember his name but i can't watch two hours of that shit or else i'll be fucking taking a nap within 10 minutes so send us the clip if you have the clip where lala says hoppy wouldn't do well in mls send it to us we'd love to see it if there's a a two-hour clip of lawless and company uh you know taking shots every 20 minutes and still doing a two-hour show, I'll watch that. <laughs> that might be a lot better show if they took shots. Yeah. Give, give, um, a, give but, us that, give us that, Lawless. Come on, come on, come on, do it. But do I it, will, s- I will say this about Matthew Timothy Hoppy: LA Galaxy are fist fucking themselves somewhere in an alley right now because <laughs> they let that kid go. All right, in 2015, and they wish they didn't because they could use him on that team. He would be a lot better than Efren Alvarez. Ooh, I'm going to take heat for that. Okay, but I'm going to take heat for Mexican fans, and I can deal with it. Um, did we answer that question? Oh, no, World Don is going to be very important. No, he's not. I'm, again, I'm, I, I could see Lawless saying that. I don't agree with it, but I could see him saying that. I No, I definitely can see his crying, snotty nose self saying it. I could definitely <laughs> see him saying it. Um, oh, the idea that you think that rolled on is going to be quote, very important. I, this is just, I'm, I'm taking it from the question. This is what this guy said who watched the podcast, the latest podcast, or maybe it was a day ago or whatever. Um, he said, rolled on is going to be very important. So no, he's not, he's not going to be very important. He could be useful at best useful, not very important. If he's very important, we're very fucked. How's that? Okay. I, I can't. I can't fathom a qualifying roster that would require Roldan to be on it, let alone playing a key role. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So the dudes, <laughs> he wasn't. He, he didn't play a key role in the Gold Cup roster. He came on as a sub in every game. I'm sorry. Yeah, a lot of guys are going to have their legs <laughs> broken before he is a important part yeah. of the World Cup. Broken Nothing against or, the kid, but still. And let's hope we don't have a lot of guys with broken legs. I don't like that. Um, here we go. Next question. It. Who is your favorite dual national of all time on the U.S. men's national team? You want to go first? No, you go first. All right. Well, you know mine. Mine's no secret. I've made it no secret through the years. Anybody who knows me knows that Castillo, I am. Right? I am a oh. fucking no. Morris. Jermaine Jones fanatic i love me some jermaine jones he's my favorite dual national of all time i know there are a lot of other good ones thomas dooley ted bravo you name it i love them all uh, claudio Reyna, i think could have been a dual national but i love me 
some Jimmy. I mean, uh, some Jimmy. Jimmy. Some <laughs> Jermaine. <laughs> What's that now? <laughs> <laughs> Roy Let me was, some JJ. Roy was right. Um, no, uh, yeah, that he's a quintessential dual national, quite frankly. He he, he, he made the switch over and he embodied everything American. And he yep. lived it and he still lives it now. I, he I, does. Love, I love hearing his take on everything. It's great. And he yep. still has that I don't give a fuck attitude. So that's what's really key. I do too. I love everything about Jermaine Jones. Yep. No, I agree uh, 100% on that. But I had to pick somebody different. Yes, you I, did. I, 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 I just can't sit here and say, yeah, Jermaine Jones, that's my answer too, okay? <laughs> I had to pick somebody different, so I went, I went with Landon Donovan. Landon Donovan, that's a sneaky maple leaf backdoor <laughs> move. <laughs> that's a backdoor Canadian move there. Yeah, fuck you, maple leaves. I like it. I like it. People don't think that <laughs> Landon Donovan... He could have played for can't Canada. The wheelhouse. You can't go with the obvious all the time. He could have played for Canada. Most people don't realize that. Was it his mother or his father that was Canadian? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad you made that clear. There we are. <laughs> all right. For all, for, all you, for all you young American fans who don't know. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, last question. Filippo just said on his show, chess isn't a sport. Is that true? Maya Colonerts. Colon Colonerts. <laughs> okay, Maya. Uh, co- cousin, cousin of Maya Colon Blows. But... <laughs> uh, well, uh, they don't have the last name in common. That's kind of odd. Well, but yeah, Maya Colon Hurts. Well, stop sticking things there. That would probably be my first um, solution for you, if it hurts. The other thing is, um, Filippo said chess isn't a sport. Uh, it's not really technically a sport for me, Brett. Um, I think it's more of a competition. Competition. Does it yeah, really? Re- I, I, think, I think chess ranks right up there with math pentathlon for me. Um, <laughs> it's, it's okay. Well, spelling to, bee? Spelling bee. It's not. It's not a sport. You know, sport requires some form of physical exertion, in my opinion. Yeah. And yes, I know. It's you, a game. It, 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 you may. You may. You may be sweating because. Uh, God, throw some chess term. Uh, Queen's Gambit's gonna fuck you up. I guess I don't know. I don't yeah. know anything about chess, really. I, I know how to play the game, but I don't know anything about it. Okay. Well, I mean, I, some people will say, "Well, is swimming a sport?" Sure, there's know, physical know. exertion there. I'm going to say yes. You know, I think it is. I think it's a sport. But I guess when I think about it, there's like no ball involved. You know, mm. there are no goals. There are no holes. There are no – you need balls for a sport. Don't you need balls for a sport? What, what, what if it's male swimming? <laughs> <laughs> Took a second there. Um, no, I, I mean, when I, <laughs> I mean, like soccer ball, hockey oh. puck, you so, know, an so item. You're saying, you're saying swimming's not a sport, but water polo would be a sport. Yes. That's a sport. The swimming's a competition. Competition is what, you're, what about cheerleading? Cheerleading would be a competition, right? It is. It is. Okay. It's a competition. There are no balls involved. Would <laughs> beer pong be a sport? Jesus, now you got me. Uh, <laughs> ping pong is beer pong. I mean, drinking's involved, bouncing's involved, uh, no, but no physical movement, as you said earlier. So I think it's more of a competition still. That's how okay, I do it. So it's not down to balls. It's not just balls. It's balls in physical activity. That's why racing. I love. I'm a huge F1 fan. I'm a huge IndyCar fan, but that's not a sport in my mind. I think it's a competition. It's 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 a race. It's a competition. I don't know if I could call it. Well, there's physical activity because you're being thrown around in the car, right? But there's no balls involved. You don't have to kick a ball with the front wing of your car. Right, you just sort of drive the car. No, I don't way, know. No way I could I drive for it. hours and hours and hours. This I, question I can never be sucks. a truck driver because I hate driving. We no, should. I'm I'm saying I'm agreeing with Filippo. 
Chess is not a sport. It is a game. It's a game. It's a competition. Just and we like should know. Just sports aren't actual sports. I'm sorry. You're playing a video game. <laughs> I know. It's so I should have known better than take a question from somebody whose last name is Colin Hertz. Yeah. So should have known better because that question hurt. But we got through it, and we agree with you, Filippo. And by the way, Filippo is going to be on our show, Tactical Manager. For those of you who don't know Filippo's name, you should, Filippo Silva. Um, he's going to be on our show August 30th, I believe. It's not going to be live. It's going to be in our style. Um, but it's going to be great to have him on, and we're looking forward to it. And it'll be right before we start uh, the qualifiers. So join us for that. Make sure you keep an eye out for that. And um, until and the next he's time. Ag- he's agreed to take a shot every time we curse. <laughs> no, he hasn't. <laughs> I, don't think, <laughs> I don't think Filippo. First of all, I don't think Filippo drinks. I think he man, met, met, made a point of that in one show where he's like, I don't drink. And, uh, you know, so it's going to be fine for him, though. What, what about a jello shot? Is that considered drinking? You going to go to fly to Florida to make him a jello shot? I'll, I'll, admit, to... I'll, I'll, I'll mail him. UP, I'll UPS it overnight. Okay, because he's not going to know how to make a, a Jello shot. <laughs> I don't think so. He might know how to make Jello. Well, you know, it wouldn't be hard. He just go on YouTube and type in Jello shot. Best Jello shot. I need to have you it make, figured you it make out. Jello. You put vodka in. It, you throw it in the fucking fridge. Yeah, but vodka, vodka and tactical. That'd be interesting mix. It would be an interesting mix to see. We'll see it here on the Stray Red Card. Yes, and August 30th. (laughs) Good night, folks.